to this edition of the St. Mary's Area School District's Roundup. We will provide a recap of what's been happening in our school district these past few months. I'm Kelsey Benjamin. And I'm Katrina McClinic. Even though it's only October, the students, faculty, and staff have been very busy. In August, our superintendent, Dr. Brian Toth, challenged Officer Lovett. Let's learn more from Jen Bauer. This year, it's about health and wellness. Dr. Toth is leading by example. Hey friends, how are you out there in Dutch Nation? I'm your superintendent, Dr. Toth, and most of you know this gentleman. This is... Officer John Lovett. Officer Lovett and I have a challenge with each other. Well, we're challenging enough without making another challenge. However, I've said many places that I've been in August that with the opening of the new fitness center, this spare tire, and this one, has to go. Dr. Toth has challenged Officer Lovett to a weight loss challenge. Throughout the year, the two will weigh in and the winner of the contest will win a very special prize. And that bet is this. Whoever loses the most weight over the course of this school year wins the bet and the winner will receive from the loser a 16 ounce steak dinner at the restaurant of the winner's choice. Be sure to stay tuned as we follow this story throughout the school year. Reporting for Smash, I'm Jen. It will be very interesting to see who is going to win that challenge. They aren't the only ones who are focusing on the human body and health. Recently, the high school anatomy students completed an interesting project. For more on this, we turn to Nathan Taylor. Anatomy is the study of the body, and our high school students have been doing just that with potatoes. Students recently practiced terms related to the planes of the human body and directional terms used to describe the locations of structure in the human body. Students read prompts and sketched the planes and regions onto a russet potato. I have been informed that no potatoes were harmed in this activity. Reporting for Smash TV, I'm Nathan Taylor. Students in the health careers class recently made homemade stress balls. I'm sure we'd like to know how to do this, and these aren't the only students learning about health and anatomy. Here's Blake Greshaw with you. Last year was the first time the CNA and EMT programs were offered at the high school. These programs are still continuing this year. The EMT and CNA students recently participated in a pig dissection activity. A fetal pig dissection is helpful for anatomy students because the size of the organs makes them easy to find and identify. It is also interesting to do because a lot of the internal anatomy is similar to humans. Dissection allows students to see the body's structure in three dimensions and how the systems are interconnected. In their second year, these programs are continuing to offer students amazing learning opportunities. Reporting for Smash TV, I'm Blake Greshaw. These students are truly learning great concepts for their futures in the medical field. They aren't the only teens who are having great experiences. Recently, the middle school started their year by focusing on teens who make a difference. Students learn about Nobel Peace Prize winner Malala Yousafzai in social studies classes and were offered the chance to see her speak at the University of Buffalo. 44 students and teachers were able to attend and be inspired by her amazing story. We all know our middle school and high school students begin learning about the importance of giving to others while they are in elementary school. Bennett's Valley Elementary sponsored a corn drive to benefit a classroom of 21 students at Greenleaf Elementary that was affected by Hurricane Harvey in Houston, Texas. Students solicited spare change, donations from family and friends, which were added to their classroom totals. Thanks to their generosity, the school raised $500 for their Houston classroom friends. BV feels very fortunate to have such a safe and beautiful school to learn in each day and are excited to pay it forward to help greatly. Students at South St. Mary's Elementary School also gave back to others. Led by the 5th grade student council, the students presented a check to the Elk County Humane Society for over $700 after hosting a successful Plaid for Pets fundraiser. An anonymous donor volunteered to match this collection amount, so the Humane Society received over $1,400 for this event. The students at Fox and BB participated in Red Ribbon Week. This week is dedicated to staying drug free. Students were greeted by guests and important members of our SMASD community. Using the theme of Alice in Wonderland, students participated in several different dress-up days. 
created teacups and flowers for their hallways, and received special gifts throughout the week. Mrs. Nidzinski's fourth grade class at South St. Mary's Elementary School recently participated in a math contest sponsored by Seneca Highlands. They were the top scoring class of five of their students being in the top ten overall performers. This means they scored the highest accuracy out of 1,000 problems. The top five students include Andrew Field, Jenna Grohl, Jaina Walter, Madeline Stewart, and Aaron Smith. This was a week-long contest which allowed students to work on problems at home and at school. Their prize is a six-month subscription to us, SomeDog.com for all students. On November 14th, during the Fox and BB school matinee of the elementary musical performance, there will be a drawing for the chance to win an HP 250GS laptop, which was donated by TKS. Between now and November 14th at Fox and BV, we'll have the opportunity to earn up to three chances to be placed in the drawing. These chances will come from their good behavior according to the Proud Behavior Code. Smash TV will be there to see who the lucky winner will be. The students at Fox and BV are learning something extremely valuable during a recent guidance lesson. Here's Jared Glass with the details. There's a shocking statistic that one in nine children will attempt suicide before high school graduation and 40% of those are in grade school. This is why students at Fox and BV learned a very important lesson. Because one of the primary predictors of suicide includes hopelessness and depression, the fifth grade classroom guidance lessons are teaching hope. Students individually wrote down their own ideas of what hope means. After being provided with several different definitions, they worked in groups to develop group definitions of hope. At the end of each lesson, they were provided with messages of hope from teachers and inspirational quotes. We are not born to hope, we must develop it. Therefore, hope will remain the focus of guidance lessons for the fifth graders this year. Reporting for Smash TV, I'm Jared Glass. From learning hope to making their mark on the world, the students in each elementary school participated in a very special day. For more on this, we turn to Vinnie Geisler. Students in all three elementary schools recently learned the importance of leaving their mark. The elementary librarian, Mrs. Jordan, read a story, The Dot, which tells about a young student who is challenged to make her mark, even when she thinks she can't. By creating dot after dot, she is able to accomplish something big and show others how to do the same. After reading the story, the students created their own dot, and to show how they were going to leave their mark on the world. International Dot Day was celebrated on September 15th and focused on the creativity and courage to believe that anyone can make a mark and see where it takes them. Reporting for Smash TV, I'm Vinnie Geithner. For several years, our middle school 8th graders have been learning how to overcome obstacles, work as a team, and become leaders. For more on this, we turn to Izzy Benjamin. Each year, the 8th grade students spend two days at Camp Mountain Run to learn some very valuable skills. What looks like a day of absolute fun is actually an amazing learning experience. Students learn to overcome obstacles and fear by tackling the ropes course and zip lining. They learn teamwork by creating teams and working together throughout the day. The trek to Camp Mountain Run is one of the favorites among the middle school students and faculty. Reporting for Smash TV, I'm Izzy Benjamin. Field trips are always a great learning experience for students. Recently, the kindergarten classes at South St. Mary's Elementary visited the public library. While there, the students got a tour of the building and had a story read to them. It was a great day for everyone. These aren't the only students who had some great field trip experiences. Here are Alexa Brothers and Wyatt Hayes with me. Recently, the third graders at Fox and BB visited the PA Woodmobile. This month, the students traveled to the Johnsonburg Fire Hall to have a fun and informational day learning about animals in our ecosystem, maintaining healthy forests, how paper is made, and careers in the outdoor industry. They also visited the live exhibits that showcase invasive species to the PA forests, the history of lumber industry in PA, and many of the products made from our forests. Everyone had a great time and learned a lot of useful information. Reporting for Smash TV, I'm Alexa Brothers. The fourth graders at South St. Mary's Elementary had the opportunity to learn more about our elk. This month, the fourth graders and their teachers traveled to the Elk Viewing Center in Benazet. The students enjoyed the 4D theater, visiting the great room with beautiful displays of wildlife and interactive games, taking a guided tour on the trails and playing a game to replicate the growth 
in decline of the elk population. The, cor the tour guides did a great job of explaining the reintroduction of the elk herd to Pennsylvania and how our area has grown with tourism. If you haven't been to the Elk Viewing Center, you should really make plans to go check it out. Reporting for Smash, I'm Wyatt Hayes. Another thing that comes from trees is apples. The kindergartners at Fox and BB learned a bit about this. Here's Blake Greshaw with more. The kindergarten students at BB and Fox celebrated Johnny Appleseed Day. On September 26, students listened to stories and learned about apples and about Johnny Appleseed. They graphed their favorite tasting apples, predicted how many seeds were in the apples, and did other apple activities. They also made applesauce. The students were thrilled to measure and help with the ingredients. They also enjoyed eating the applesauce. It was another fun and education day in kindergarten. Reporting for Smash TV, I'm Blake Greshaw. We have done some reports about the STEM programs that are occurring throughout our district. Recently, the high school acquired a smart lab, which allows students to work individually or in small groups. It's another useful resource for our students. While we do focus on STEM, we certainly don't forget about the arts. The theater and music programs are top-notch throughout our district. For more on these, we turn to Nathan Taylor, Sammy Hayes, and Nikki Timshishin. Students in the high school music department have been practicing and performing a lot during these last few months. In all of Mr. Brooks's classes, instrumentalists and vocalists have played during their Performance Fridays, which are held every two weeks. This is a time where students can practice singing in front of a small audience, collaborate with other students on duets, play an original song that they have written, or simply perform, perform for their peers. This month, students from all backgrounds, as well as all instruments groups, performed. Having the opportunity to perform is very beneficial for our aspiring musicians, vocalists, and actors. Reporting for Smash, I'm Nathan Taylor. The second and third graders at Bennett's Valley Elementary are preparing for the annual class play. This year, the students will perform a production of the Three Piggy Opera. In the story, the characters are able to repeatedly thwart the big bad wolf using hot garbage soup. In the end, however, they all realize the wolf is simply misunderstood and not trying to be bad. He's just hungry. The students were curious about what was in garbage soup, so they made their own. Garbage soup is made with ingredients that you can find around the house to keep them from being wasted. The, B the BV students use beef, potatoes, celery, cabbage, zucchini, onion, and carrots in their garbage soup. The students were able to enjoy their culinary creation with all of their friends. Reporting for Smash TV, I'm Sammy Hayes. Each fall, the students in the drama club perform a play. This year, they take on their biggest project yet. Under the direction of Mr. Frank, with the assistance of Mr. Taylor, the students are putting together the famous play Arsenic and Old Lace. This comedy is sure to keep audience laughing as we meet two very sweet old sisters who have a very dark secret in their basement. Filled with situational irony and over-the-top characters, this play will not disappoint those in attendance. In addition, the stagecraft classes are building quite a set to allow audiences into the home of Abby and Martha Brewster. The show will be performed on November 17th and 18th at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. Tickets will be sold at the door. Reporting for Smash TV, I'm Nikki Timsition. Speaking of comedies, this month marked homecoming for the St. Mary's Area School District, which meant Spirit Week for the high school students. Students participated in Crazy Day, Nerd vs. Jog, Taurus Day, Class Color Day, and Red and Blue Day. The year's Dutch King and Queen of Spirit were Mario Cipelli and Amanda Foster. Of course, Spirit Week led to the crowning of this year's homecoming queen. During a rainy halftime at the varsity football game, the homecoming court and their escorts were introduced. First runner-up was Julia Davis, and the 2017 St. Mary's Area High School homecoming queen is Lindsay Badu. Congratulations, Lindsay, and everyone on the court. This concludes this edition of Smash TV's District Roundup. Until next time, have a good night and, and a, a great tomorrow. tomorrow.